Good tidings, all you beautiful individuals. Welcome back to another Epi of Leak Unlock. My name is Eric Klein, a little, you know the drill, Han Solo today on the episode as we get into the medal rounds of the Asian Games. Obviously, got to get into the gold medal action right away. Team Korea against the absolutely massive underdogs in Chinese Taipei, and there was no real drama. In this one there was no miracle run uh from taiwan it was sub 30 minutes in back-to-back -back games sub hour overall for the finals as team korea captures the gold medal which means yes military exemption for all of the starters plus faker who played but a single game it was a good great game on yone but he plays one game gets the gold medal will get the military exemption. We know he did so much behind the scenes and was just an absolute... My guy didn't even have time to be practicing because he was speaking with, taking pictures with, signing autographs for so many different fans throughout this event. He was playing his role perfectly as ambassador of both League of Legends and esports. But uh, this team, I mean, they gelled together immediately, ends up being an 8-0 and run from them. They did not drop a single game, not even in that hyped up matchup against China. It was a 14 KDA for Kanavi across the board. He had to again play, uh, you know, he's playing the Rel and the Vi patch 13.12 again. Got to preface that, but he looked amazing throughout the entire event. I've never seen Zeus look happier in the last year or so probably in a big part due to playing alongside kanavi so we'll see how things go when he's back paired up with owner on t1 for the world championship but you can talk about i think it counts this is an international event it's a grand finals so for kiria and zeus curse is broken they they finally are not runner-ups they're not getting a silver medal they get the gold they perform when it matters the most ruler was fantastic um again in this matchup against doggo he had the zaya and the zeri you know honestly the bot lane picks aside from kaisa being even more meta haven't changed that much from seven patches ago to what they're playing on here uh in 13 12 so more of the same for him but across the board chovi playing pretty standard stuff it really feels like this team korea team wasn't even tested didn't even have to unleash any legit strategies and i'm not sure they had crazy ones again for this incredibly outdated old patch but uh with how things went here and the team chemistry these guys were joking around some of the most wholesome moments you will see as they were still laser focused in on winning and capturing that gold medal representing their country uh doing it proudly absolutely they did and now they head back to their respective teams to get ready for the world championship but i think it's only gonna boost up how you're feeling about a squad like t1 like gen g like jdg coming with now uh, a couple titles for kanavi who was honestly the best performing member of this star studded squad and ruler obviously looked great as well so so happy for all these players to have what i can only assume is a massive pressure and weight lifted off their shoulders now that they do not have to do that mandatory military service coming home with the gold medal getting redemption from the 2018 asian games for both faker and ruler where they finished runner up to team china and uh obviously again i apologize because we don't have highlights to go through here but i'm not risking any copyright strikes from caspar or anyone anyone else involved we already know how difficult it was to find the games let alone be uh, dropping some highlights here. So yeah, we, we got some boards, we got some stats, but overall, incredibly happy for the boys on Team Korea. And listen, a silver medal finish for Chinese Taipei, you got to imagine Taiwan is absolutely thrilled with that. They finished higher than China in this tournament because, of course, they were on the other side of the bracket. That was our bronze medal matchup where this, this is where the real drama was on the day because not only... Did Vietnam pick up game one in pretty convincing fashion, which China dropping a game here was already a surprise, especially considering how 
beat down Vietnam got by Chinese Taipei in those semifinals on the other side of the bracket but Levi on the boys absolutely showed up on this one Knight got a little bit angry in game two busted out the Jace and had a nice clean eight and zero start uh, despite China losing to Korea we're leaving this whole event feeling even better about JDG obviously because Kanavi and Ruler won but also Knight was the best performing mid laner at this whole event, despite going home with only a bronze medal. And it was dramatic fashion in that third game. They, China was so close to losing game three. They were down 4K gold at mo for most of the game. It finally comes down to some good uh, engages and a nice flank. A wombo combo between Mako and Knight on that Nico in that third game. Two back-to-back -back team fights that China ends up winning to steal the victory from Vietnam. And that last team fight where there is a solid engage from Knight and Mako. Four out of the five Vietnamese players still had flash. You gotta wonder if they flashed away or had an opportunity to flash away from that rel engage. How differently things would be, but... Who knows? Either way, incredibly competitive series. Really the only competitive series that we had at this entire Asian Games event. Uh, Vietnam absolutely testing China. Imagine the backlash this team would have felt. Uh, they already felt it from losing to Korea. If they didn't even come home with a bronze, I, I honestly would have worried for these players. So happy that they did manage to hold on, even though you're a little bit sad uh, that Vietnam didn't. Get that absolutely incredible upset. You heard some of the casters. Oh, they were so excited and so disappointed when it didn't end up coming through for them. Um, but uh, what do you take away? If you're feeling really good about JDG, even better after this event, I feel like I'm leaving maybe a little bit more worried about BLG than I was because I don't think Ben had a great tournament. His KDA was under three. He never was a huge impact, really, even in this series where you thought he would bounce back after getting outmatched in back-to-back -back games against Zeus. Wasn't really the case. He was fine. He's playing a lot of Renekton in this tournament. And again, it's hard to take anything too seriously from this entire event because so much of the competition is not at the level of these top four teams. And it's so old. It's so outdated, the meta that's going on here. But I mean, some of these picks are still going to be around at the World Championship. So I am a, a little bit legitimately concerned about BLG. I already was uh, after obviously losing back-to-back -back best of fives to close out the summer playoffs in the LPL. But now you see the level that Ben is at and it's not great. I'm definitely feeling still a lot better about squads like LNG, who didn't have any players at this event, and now T1 with Kyria and Zeus. The curse is broken. I'm feeling much better about them than BLG heading towards uh, this year's world championship. Uh, but either way, medal rounds, Korea gold, silver to Chinese Taipei, China gets bronze, and Vietnam. We're giving them the honorary copper medal because they had such a fantastic performance. Again, the most exciting series of the entire event because it was actually back and forth. And if we see an inkling of this level of competition and level of play from Vietnam at this year's World Championship, well, then it's going to be oh so spicy, not only just in that play-in stage, but even advancing ahead. And maybe you're sweating a little bit if you're the Golden Guardians or Team BDS matching up against that second VCS seed, Team Wales, in that play-in stage. But overall, obviously, very difficult to watch any of these games, uh, but happy uh, with how things played out and happy with the hype that was all around it. And again, big congrats to the Team Korea squad for capturing that oh-so-elusive gold medal. But that is it today for League Unlocked. My name is Eric. As always, thank you all you beautiful individuals across the globe for joining us, and we will catch you on that flippity-flip.